Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Wednesday edition of Live at Five. I'm Kenny Melvin. The National Weather Service confirms that two tornadoes touched down in Anson County as strong storms swept through and across the state on Monday. According to a report on Tuesday, the first was an EF2 tornado with an estimated maximum wind speed of 125 miles per hour that lasted for about a minute. The tornado traveled four-tenths of a mile and had a path of 75 yards. The report states that the tornado touched down at 6.34 a.m., about a mile northeast of Morbin. The tornado reportedly destroyed two to four chicken houses and lifted a mobile home from its foundation, rotating at 180 degrees. Ten minutes later, an EF-1 tornado with maximum wind speeds of 110 miles per hour touched down about five miles south of the first one. Its nine-mile, non-contiguous path ranged from 150 to 200 yards wide, downing trees, damaging numerous outbuildings, homes, and vehicles. The National Weather Re Service reports six or seven homes were destroyed and several turkey houses were significantly damaged. PD Electric now has its, its outages at 156 in Anson County and 10 in Richmond. Duke Energy is reporting 424 are still out in Anson and 628 in Richmond County. On Tuesday, the Moore County Health Department was notified of the death of a Moore County resident whose death was determined to be related to COVID-19. This is the third death in Moore County attributed to COVID-19. In total, there have been 85 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Moore County to date. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services reports a total of 5,123 confirmed cases across the state with 117 related deaths. 93 counties now have at least one case of COVID-19. A local produce stand and a poultry company are teaming up to offer discount prices on chicken and turkey. Purdue Farms announced late Tuesday that it would be bringing a truckload of product to the berry patch on Thursday to help the local community during these challenging and difficult times amid the coronavirus pandemic. Berry patch owner Lee Berry said he was contacted by the Purdue to host the event. Berry said Purdue would be selling 600 cases of poultry products. Those products include 12 pound cases of mesquite slow sl smoke sliced turkey for $30 and 20 pound cases of boneless skinless chicken breast for 40. There's a limit of three cases per customer. The parking lot will be marked off to form a drive through line as customers will be encouraged to stay in their vehicles to align with social distancing guidelines. Still, sale starts at 10 a.m. and will continue until supplies run out. Since a visit to the North Carolina Zoo isn't currently possible, the zoo is bringing its programs to everyone. In an effort to help meet the educational and learning needs of children and parents during this most challenging time, the zoo is offering an all new virtual visit program. The program features a wide range of different online educational events, art projects, at-home activities, and stories from the zoo and the wild that will allow children, teachers, and parents, and others to experience the zoo and its animals in a new way. The virtual visit webpage can be found on nczoo.org. The zoo will update with new animal videos, wildlife theme activities, and other ideas for at-home learning and play. Even as the zoo staff continues to busy caring for more than 1,800 animals and more than 2,000 acres of land. When we return, we'll have our Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after this break, so please stay tuned. Do you want a healthcare career? Certified medical assistants are multi skilled healthcare professionals capable of completing administrative and clerical tasks, making them a valuable member of the healthcare team at medical clinics, doctor's offices, and other healthcare facilities. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of medical assistants is projected to grow 23% over the next eight years, much faster than the national average. At Richmond Community College, our medical assisting students are trained in our cutting-edge simulation learning center, giving them hands-on experience with high-fidelity mannequins that simulate real-life patient interaction. In addition to clinical skills, our students also receive instruction in scheduling appointments, coding, processing insurance accounts, billing, collections, and medical transcription. Complete the medical assisting program in just two years and start your lifelong career today. Visit www.richmondcc.edu to learn more about enrolling in the medical assisting program at Richmond Community College or call 910-410-1700. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection. 
friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. Richmond County has always come together for local businesses. But supporting those businesses is now more important than ever. As a local business owner myself, I know that it takes a strong backing of the community to stay open and to continue to employ residents. And with governments shutting down businesses across the state of North Carolina due to the COVID-19 outbreak, many owners in Richmond County, like Sierra, are counting on you to keep them open and residents employed after the crisis is over. Restaurants are still offering curbside and pickup orders via phone calls, and many others allow customers to purchase gift cards. This is a time for Richmond County to come together and show support for one another. We can still practice social distancing while supporting those who will be affected by the coronavirus pandemic now and after. Your 11 at 5 weather report is brought to you by RO Yellow, Richmond County's new online business directory. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. It has been pretty chilly outside. That sunshine out there has really fooled everyone, especially me today. Walked outside without a jacket, immediately turned around and got one. Uh, really, really chilly temperatures compared to what we saw yesterday and tonight. You're still, still going to get a little bit more cooler as we get into the evening. 7 o'clock, 55 degrees, 9 o'clock, 49. Uh, sunset at 7.52. We're almost at 8 o'clock now with that sunset. And uh, we're getting a third quarter moon tonight. So uh should be an interesting night with this cool temperature good good news is though the temperatures will be going back up very soon uh first of all as we look at tomorrow for the for the weather map we do see 60s getting back into the for the highs uh really high 60s for the most part across sand hills region fayetteville high at 68 low of 43 rayford high at 68 low of 41 down in lumberton be a high at 68 and a low of 42 scotland county high at 68 and a low of 41 there up in Southern Pines, it'll be a high of, fit, a high of 67 and a low of 40. Uh, LRB will be seeing a high of 67 and a low of 41. Right here in Rockingham and Hamlet, high of 68, low of 41. Down in Bennettsville, it'll be a high of 69 and a low of 42. And across the PD in Waysboro, it'll be a high of 67 and a low of 42. Sunshine across the entire Sand Hills tomorrow as well. So pretty warm temperatures, relatively speaking, compared to what we saw today. Now looking at seven day forecast, we do see 70s getting back up into for the highs uh, for the next seven days. It will be getting back up there, but with that comes rain. Before we get to the rain though, Thursday high at 68, low at 41. Friday high at 72, low at 60. Both sunshiny days ahead. Uh, and then we get into the rain on Saturday. It'd be a 4% chance of precipitation in the afternoon, but none in the evening. High at 75 and a low of 49. On Sunday, continuing on with the rain precipitation, high at 73, low at 58, 
and then Monday will be that last stretch of the rain, high of 72 and a low of 50. Now looking at Tuesday, it'll be a high of 74 and a low of 53 with sunny skies. Then on Wednesday, it'll get up to a high of 79 and a low of 61. So we're slowly getting back up into the 80s again. Um, of course, with that high temperature, once again, it does uh, cause more uh, chance for more pollen to fall. Uh, luckily though, with that stretch of rain coming up, that will help us out washing away that and hopefully get over our allergies a little bit quicker here very soon. That's going to do it for Live at 5 Weather Report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening here in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.